Good morning. It is 7.36. I slept in this morning, which if you've watched for a while, you know that does not happen very often, but I actually slept in this morning. Um, I've had a shower now. I've just turned the coffee pot on, so I have not even had my coffee yet. But oh my gosh, it did feel really nice to sleep in. But are any of my other morning people like this, that if you do sleep in, you're then like, oh my gosh, that was a lot of knitting time that I just slept through. <laughs> That's always my first thought when I sleep in was, man, I could have been knitting, but I think I needed it. After Eric being gone all week, I don't sleep good when he's gone. And then preparing for the open studio day, it was just such a crazy week that I think I was really, really exhausted. I'm gonna get my cozy knitter socks out to work on. I didn't show them yesterday. But I am caught up on these anyways, <laughs> on none of my other advents. But yes, I am caught up. Hopefully, today will be the day to start some other advents. I actually meant to grab some needles from the office yesterday because I have some interchangeable sets. But lately, all I've been wanting to use are fixed circulars. So I meant to grab some from the, the shop, but I might have to run over today and do that. Here in a little bit after some coffee. So do you guys want to hear about the open studio day? It was amazing. So amazing. I was so nervous. I am so thankful that Jenny came up. Um, Friday night and stayed and then was here Saturday. She went over to the studio with me early on Saturday and helped me get like the final few things done that needed done. And if she had not been there and I was there by myself, I would have been in a complete panic <laughs> just because of my nerves, just worrying that was everything ready, was everything set up, was everything good. So I did not record much yesterday. I was just in the moment and busy for one and just didn't think to take it out. I was kind of just soaking it all in. So definitely not much footage from it. Sorry, I know some people had asked me to record it, but yeah, I was just in the moment, I guess. It was such a joy to get to meet some, some new people, some people that I, knew through Instagram or their YouTube comments and to actually get to see them and it was just amazing. There really are no words and my dream and I've talked about this for years with what I do is bringing people together. I always want to bring knitters together and yesterday I got to see that happen through the studio space so that was so fun for me to get to see Crazy Sock Lady Co get to bring people together like that. I've done knit groups and stuff, you know, where we've lived, but this is just, it felt different and it felt so nice. And I was so honored to be able to have brought some people together um, through having them in to the knitting room like that. It was such a great experience. I, I think everyone had fun. I hope everyone had fun. I know the people that I've talked to did. Um, so hopefully it was a good time for everyone and I can't wait to do it again. I will for sure be doing it again. I've had people asking that maybe they had something going on that they couldn't come yesterday and they want to know if I'll do it again, for sure. I would love to do it monthly. I don't think that one will happen next month just because of we've got, you know, the holiday season leading into, you know, New Year's Eve, like all of the things. And I just think that January might not be possible to get enough yarn stock and things. Oh, coffee is ready, coffee is ready. Um, back in stock in time and still be able to take time off with my family, you know, and not be prepping for it. So I think February is probably what we're looking at. I will for sure let everyone know and I will give more notice this time because that was something too. This was pretty short notice. This was kind of something I was just like, let's try it, let's 
jump in and do it. And it was pretty short notice from the, when I announced that December 4th was gonna be the day to December 4th. <laughs> so next time I will give more notice. There is still yarn left, so don't worry. There's the yarn, lots of other goodies left for the online update. And so many people were worried things were gonna sell out. And I I kept saying I ordered enough. I, th I really think I ordered enough to have in person and online. And I did, so don't worry. <laughs> There's still a homespun house. There's some new Beachy Breeze Fiber um, co yarns, some Happy Mermaid sock sets and full skeins, and so many other goodies as well. Um, I'm taking today to rest, not even just after yesterday, but just after the whole week. <laughs> I am taking today to rest. I am going to knit away. I don't know that we will do anything. I do have to run and get the needles. Um, sometimes on Sundays, Eric and I will run and grab a burger from a local brewery. They do like a, a $10 burger and fries and we'll go share a burger. So I don't know if we'll do that today or not, but maybe. And I'm hoping to do lots of knitting. This is the only thing I've kept up on this week. And I've worked on these socks. I'll show you those real quick. And then I'll talk about the update. But I've worked on these. And how gorgeous is this? I need to make a project page for this. I haven't yet, I'm sorry. <clears throat> Maybe I'll do that this morning because I also have to edit yesterday and the day before is Vlogmas, but there's not a lot of footage. But yes, these are the only two things I've worked on. Um, I'm hoping to get at least one advent project started today. I'm still being kind of indecisive on what I'm using for what, but I need to make a decision today on one and get that started. So I'll feel like I've done something. So thank you guys for sticking it out through the first couple of days of Vlogmas here that have been a little crazy and not normal. Not normal Vlogmas, but it, these, I don't know, yesterday was worth it. It brought me so much, so much joy. Okay, the update. I'm taking today off. Like I said, that was a very long-winded day of saying I'm taking today off. And tomorrow I'm going to get, go through everything on the website, just make sure everything's good. Um, and then put the website back up for orders. So, so that would mean Monday because you, these go up a day behind. So Monday is when the update will be. When this goes up, check the website. I'll try to kind of time it like that to where if you are watching this, that means the website has been updated. So go check it out. <laughs> Hopefully that timing will work out good. Okay. It's time for coffee and then let's knit on these socks oh I had some people ask about the cozy knitter advent skein so I've done this for I think this is three years now and it's a stripe a day for 24 days it's our 24 stripe advent skein when it comes it's split into two 50 gram skeins and there are two repeats of the 24 stripes per skein so that's why you see me doing four socks I'll get a shot of them all laid out um after I do today's collar on all of them, but um, you essentially get four 24 stripe repeats if you split it into four skeins. I hope that's making sense. So that's what I did. It comes in 250s. I just wound it up and counted the stripes as I was winding so that there's 24 stripes in one cake, 24 in another, and so on for four cakes of yarn. I'm doing a pair for myself and my mother-in-law. So these are fun. You just do a stripe a day and you do kind of have to figure out like if you're doing cuff down, how's it going to work out to where you finish your stripes on your foot? So there can be some math involved with figuring out your row gauge and how many rows per stripe you're getting and how many rows you're going to need on your foot. With me having done it for so many years, I kind of can figure it out um, just through that. So yeah, but it's a lot of fun. It's definitely something I will always do because it's just such a attainable goal, I feel like, for sure, when other advents can somewhat get overwhelming. Um, this is a stripe a day on socks is easy peasy. So, okay, I need coffee. I just went through some of the Instagram comments from my post about the how the open studio went yesterday. 
And um, one question I had a lot was how many people came and I realized I didn't even talk about that. So I was horrible at actually keeping track, but I think from what I did, was able to count <laughs> before I kind of lost track. We had we had about 30 to 40 people in and out. Some stayed to knit, some just came into shop throughout the 10 to four <clears throat> time frame. So I think that's pretty good. I felt like it was really good um, for the first one, especially when I didn't give a ton of notice on this one. And I had a lot of people that are like, oh, I already had this planned, so I can't make it this time. Um, so yeah, I feel like 30 to 40 people is, is really good for, for that time. Yeah, so that answers that question. <laughs> The needles have all been acquired. Now it is time to head home. And Eric and I are gonna go grab some lunch. I had a feeling we would. That's kind of become our um like a weekend date that we go grab lunch at Lucen's Brewing right by the house. So I kind of figured that we would. Yep. That's what we're gonna go do. You can probably hear the bread machine. Eric is making pizza dough in it. I have just wound up day one of the Moon Glow Yarn Co. Advent. And I am gonna do, I think it's the Wallop Advent Cowl. 
Um, my project pages are always linked below. So you can find all the details there. But I've done my crochet chain for my provisional cast on. So I'm gonna get this started. I am watching Lindsay Sock Witchery. Her day, I think this is day three, yes, of Vlogmas. Catching up on hers and I have not even started watching anyone else's. I've only started watching hers. I've just been so busy this week, but catching up on some Vlogmas, starting some Vlogmas, and finally starting Advent projects. I have all of my Advent projects here in bags, ready to start them. Oh, and Eric is using his new Christmas gift. I got him, I, I videoed a bit of it before, um, a, a pellet pizza oven. So he's excited to use that this evening for dinner. It's only, well, I think it is almost four o'clock by now. Where did the day go? Where did it go? I have to pick Austin up in about an hour, so I'm gonna get this started and going and make some progress, hopefully.